The auction sale 239, video file for lot 2059. A somewhat meatier than usual uh, barred numerals lot. Been well picked over, but there's lots of things left. 1792, 3R. And numerous fine to superb strikes. It's noted as 1763, which is 5R, but you'd, you'd want to be very clear about it. It's uh, not a good strike. 1760 of Rosely. Same, they're different types, they look the same to me. Duplication. The best of the material, of course, is what's illustrated in the catalogue, and I've got the last box here, so I won't be sh showing you those again, but uh, you can certainly see them all in the catalogue or on the online. This is the 1800s. That's 1894 Type 1. Notice it's 4R. There's no doubt about it. It's not a great strike. Not much in the way of duplexes. As you can do without these plastic leaves falling in the way. 1842, there's no doubt about that. 1843, 2R, yeah, maybe. It's uh, masquerading as 1836, but it could be 1830 or 1823 4R Fulham, two incomplete strikes, can't be anything else. And the 1900s. It's certainly a very good basis for expansion. What I would do, if I was going to take it on, is take out all the really nice strikes like this, have them form the basis of the collection, probably include lesser strikes that are undoubted, and ditch the rest. In my view, if a numeral is not immediately, or reasonably clear. Uh, nice three hours there, 1952, that's a good one, I wouldn't worry about that. Can't be anything else, but personally I would uh, get away from all the stuff that's not up to scratch and focus on a collection of uh, fine strikes. Fine to superb, where every page you look at it, there's no question about what they are. Unfortunately, numeral people in particular are born optimists and uh, they always believe that they have things that are uh, previously unrecorded or what have you. This is the last volume. But they just don't stand up to scrutiny in many cases. Hugh Freeman was guilty of it. My father was guilty of it. Doubt if there's a numeral collector who hasn't fallen for the trap more than once. And I've never seen a, a properly developed collection of numerals that is free from maybes. So 
So there's a task. So the 4R. 2007. There's no doubt about that one. So there you have it.